Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on circle theorem. And it's the, it's the ninth in my in this series on circle theorem. Now, I got this exercise from a IGCST textbook, higher tier textbook. And I, I'm, I'm doing it because it's all jumbled up here. Yeah? So you need to have a clear head before you do this. Yeah. We're supposed to find the angles ADX, which is this one here. The angle ABC, which is this one here. And the angle BCD, this one here. Uh, in addition, we're told that uh, CAX, YDX, BD, AD, and B, the AB are straight lines, and then AD is equal to AB. Now, as you can appreciate, it's a lot to do in this little space here. And to do it step by step, I've isolated the triangle CDX and the tangent YDX, as you've got there. And the, the, the tangent y d or the straight line y d x there. Okay. Now, the question then is, what is the relationship between fifty four degrees and thirty degrees there? Now, that is an exterior angle for this triangle uh, x c d, which means that the exterior angle, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two interior. Is the sum of the two interior angles, which is 30 and this one here. So if that's 30, that angle at C must be 24 degrees. And that's what you got there. And so that's 24 degrees there, there, 24 degrees there. And that's my explanation. Okay. Now, next, we then introduce our, our arc there. Not the whole thing, but part of the arc. But sorry, so this is the arc around the whole circle. So we've got this there. And then we then introduce the chord AD, this one here, the chord AD. Right. So now that is a tangent, and that's one segment, and that's the alternate segment. So if that's 24, that must also be 24 by the theory of alternate segments. So the angle ADX is 24 degrees there. So that's 24 degrees. So we've done this, so we find this angle there. So that's done. So we need to find this one here. Now to do that, we need to introduce our co the chords uh, DB and the chord DA, sorry, BA. Right, now this chord AD subsets the angle 24 degrees at the point C there. And the same chord AD subsets this angle at the point B. So those two angles must be equal. So the angle at the ang angle DBA has got to be 24 degrees as you go there. So this little angle here is 24 degrees as you go there. Okay. Right. So we need to find ABC. So that's the whole of this. We've only found only part of ABC of the angle ABC. Okay. So we then need to introduce the, the chord BC there and now by the rule or by the theory of alternate segment if that's 54 degrees that is 54 degrees there okay so that could give 54 degrees there so angle abc then becomes 54 plus 24 degrees as you got there and therefore angle abc is 78 degrees so we found this angle there so that's done so we found those two angles. So that's 78 degrees. Okay. Right. Next, we need to find the angle BCD. And the angle BCD is this one here. Okay. Right. We know that the triangle ABD is an associated triangle. As we got there. So it's an associated triangle. So if that's 24 there, that also be 24 degrees there. As we got there. That's 24 degrees. Now, we want to find this angle in order to give us the angle BCD. Now, this chord BA subsets the angle 24 degrees at the point D. The same chord subsets the angle BCA at the point C there. So if that's 24, that must also be 24 degrees there. Okay, so that's 24 degrees there. And we want to find the angle BCD 
so angobesity will be the sum of 24 and 24 degrees so that's going to give us 24 plus 24 and angobesity is 48 degrees now i hope all that makes some sense now please please um go back and check and make sure that i've done the right thing and check the, the angles as well thank you for watching uh please subscribe and i'll see you again sometime bye bye now